Now, meanwhile, the Indonesian government is optimistic that Indonesia's economic growth in 2023 will remain positive even amid projections of a significant global slowdown or even recession next year. And to help drive growth, the Indonesian government is pushing investments and boosting developments of its downstreaming industry. Now, the Indonesian coordinating minister of economy, Erlangga Hartarto, said the government is optimistic that Indonesia can reach 5.3 percent growth in 2023. This comes as many international institutions are projecting Indonesia's economy to grow by 4.7 to 5.1 percent. So far, the Indonesian government has also been successful in managing inflation, with annual inflation slowing two months in a row. Now, to help maintain energy resilience, meanwhile, the government are set to raise biofuel from B30 to B35. The government is also pushing developments of its downstreaming industries and are set to ban exports of bauxite to further raise its values and increase Indonesia's export capabilities. Dalam kaitannya dengan pertumbuhan di tahun 2023, pemerintah optimis bahwa angka 5,3 tercapai karena berbagai lembaga internasional juga memprediksi pertumbuhan Indonesia tahun depan 4,7 sampai 5,1. Jadi juga pada angka yang positif. Nah, kemudian tadi juga untuk menjaga ketahanan energi dalam negeri, kita akan membuat uh, sebuah kebijakan untuk menaikkan B30 menjadi B35. Teknisnya kita akan siapkan dan akan dilaporkan ke Bapak Presiden. Well, Australia's central bank has raised its benchmark interest rate by a quarter point to 3.1 percent as it continues trying to wrestle down inflation. The increase was the bank's eighth in a row and took the rate to its highest level in 10 years. Still, Australia's rate hikes have remained relatively modest and its key rate remains, remains lower than in many other countries, including the United States, where the Federal Reserve has raised its key interest rate to a range of 3.75 to 4 percent. The Reserve Bank of Australia's governor, Philip Lowe, said that inflation remained too high at 6.9 percent. That is well above the bank's target inflation rate of between 2 to 3 percent. Now, the bank noted the labor market remains tight with unemployment at 3.4 percent in October, the lowest rate since 1974, and many firms struggling to hire workers. These interest rate rises are already having harsh and heavy consequences uh, on a lot of household budgets and on a lot of mortgage repayments. Uh, but the full impact uh, of these rate rises is still to be felt in the economy. So already having a harsh and heavy impact on repayments, uh, but as the RBA has made clear today, uh, we expect that the full impact of these rate rises will be felt down the track. Now this is a key reason why the Treasury, in the forecasts that they provided for the October budget, expects our economy to soften next year. Our economy is expected to soften next year and growth is expected to slow as a consequence of higher interest rates as well as uh, the downturn in the global economy. Uh, that's driving uh, a uh, softening of consumption in our forecasts and that's feeding through into a lower growth forecast as well.